Hey guys, welcome to another product showcase video. Today's item is from Sunbeam Tech, and this is their tunic TX-4 High Performance Thermal Grease. Okay, as you guys all know, uh, Tunic is a major manufacturer of CPU uh, cooling items. Their CPU coolers and thermal paste is quite legendary in the business for overclocking. And uh, uh, we're going to have a look at their TX4 thermal paste. It's a new item that they've come out with that exceeds their TX2, TX3 thermal paste. Uh, let's have a look at the package itself. Very nice bubble pack with some information about the uh, product itself as well as Tunic's name. Easy apply, name to the or, uh, link to the manufacturer itself. On the back side, we have a bunch of different features about it. Uh, better performance than the TX3 thermal grease. Easier, easier apply than the TX3 thermal grease. Low thermal resistance for superior heat transfer. 6.3 W slash MK, uh, thin bond layer for high efficiency conductivity, helps uh, the low pressure clip design a cooler to achieve better cooling or performance, ROHS compliant, low bleed under high pressure, uh, not electrically conductive, which is really nice to see. Uh, actually, we're seeing more and more uh, thermal paste coming out that way just because the uh, electrically conductive ones are so dangerous if it spills over onto the CPU onto the motherboard at all it can create shorts and uh, damage your product so you definitely want to look for one that's uh, not electrically conductive they have a little uh, overclocking chart here I'm not sure how well the computer will or the uh, camera will pick that up um, but basically they show you what a stock thermal compound would do on a uh, i5 processor uh, comparing it to the Tunic TX2, which you can see is about a 6 degree temperature drop, and then comparing it to the Tunic TX3, which is about a 2 degree temperature drop, and then to the Tunic TX4, which is also about another 2 degree temperature drop. So, uh, quite a difference from the older series. They inc um, include a Tim Spreader with it to uh, spread your thermal paste and they give you a little information about how to uh, spread it. Um, appearance of it is gray. Viscosity is 66,200 CP. Thermal co conductivity is 6.53 W slash MK. Operating temperatures minus 45 degrees Celsius to 160 degrees Celsius. So huge um, operating temperature range. Uh, let's open it up and have a look. Okay, inside the package itself, we have our Tim Spreader, which uh, has a diagram on it for the different uh, CPUs. AMD 37.5 millimeter, uh, LGA 1366 at 34.5 uh, millimeter, and your LGA 775 and uh, LGA 1156 at 29.5 millimeter. You can see the marks on the card itself to uh, show you approximately how wide the uh, CPU is going to be and how to spread the uh, grease onto it. You get one milliliter of the uh, thermal compound itself. It has the uh, operating temperatures, uh, different information on the package itself. Let's uh, open it up and have a look at it. Okay, we'll see what uh, what it looks like here. It is gray in color. Uh, very easy to move around. They did say it would apply easily. Just to get an idea how it spreads. It doesn't stick very well to paper, of course, but uh, it gives you an idea of how smooth it is. And uh, it is a very dense paste. Um, not like some of the runny stuff that we've seen from uh, some of the other manufacturers. So it looks like it will really uh, stick in place. Uh, we're going to do some uh, benchmarking. We're going to uh, compare just some uh, over-the-counter 
uh, paste with the TX4 to see what a difference it'll make on just a uh, stock Intel uh, 775 cooler to see how much difference it really makes. Okay, for this test we're just going to use our uh, high-speed PC top deck uh, tech station to uh, run our tests on. That way we know it's got a good airflow. We can't uh, blame a case for not uh, getting good ratings. We have our CPU cleaned thoroughly as well as our stock cooler. Uh, this is a lapped CPU. It's a D Intel Pentium D820. Uh, so that way we'll have good copper on copper uh, conductivity. And for the first test we're just going to try some of this over the counter uh, actually, this is from uh, Radio Shack. This is some of their uh, CPU compound. So uh, let's try that and see what kind of temperature we get. Okay, we're going to run a couple of tests here. Uh, we're going to run it at idle uh, temperature, which uh, as of right now is about 50, 51 degrees on the uh, over-the-counter thermal base. And we're also going to run a uh, load test on it and see what the temperatures do at load. Uh, see it drop down to about 49 now so we'll use that as our baseline for the test. Okay we've been running uh, Prime 95 for a few minutes on the uh, CPU with the uh, over-the-counter paste and as you can see our thermal temperatures are about 72 73 degrees under load. So we're gonna shut it down let it cool off and switch over to the uh, Tunic TX4. Okay, I just want to take a shot of the cooler after I took it off, just so you can see that it had uh, good dispersion of the thermal paste, so we uh, know that the thermal paste was making good contact. Now we're going to clean it off and switch to the TX4. Now for the idle temperature on the Tunic TX4, uh, we're idling at about 45 degrees, so we gained a few uh, degrees on uh, idle with the uh, Tunic paste. Now let's uh, start up Prime 95 and see what it does under load. Okay, we've been running Prime 95 uh, on 100% uh, on both threads. You can see the uh, CPU meter, both uh, cores are, are running at 100%. And our highest temperature we've seen so far is about 65, 66 degrees. So noticeable difference with the uh, Tunic TX4. But uh, that's going to do it for this uh, product showcase. We want to thank Sunbeam Tech for providing the uh, Tunic TX4 paste. And we want to thank you for watching.